We've got a very colorful and a very dedicated individual who is going to share a story she's written about that interview with you. This individual is one of our committee members. She's a leadership student and massively committed to the effort of what it is we do today to honor, heal, and remember. So at this time, if I could have Thomasine Ruby, me, Shabuz, come to the podium. Ruby. Okay, this is the first time out for me. Um, all through all my college uh, you know, experience, I avoided this situation. And today I've been blessed, you know, to do this. Um, also too, Frank, um, it's Thomasine, hold the A, and I'm a, I'm a devoted uh, volunteer to work on this boarding school situation. Anyway, I wrote this. Um, I was blessed to have the opportunity to meet Marie and her family. Today, on the 16th of April, I embarked on another aspect of my Zeboing culture society research on the Mount Pleasant Indian Industrial Boarding School. I was to assist Tribal Elder Council Lorna, Lorna Call, um, another committee member, Craig uh, Graverett. I hope I'm saying it right, and um, Public Relations Assistant Joe Sobnik in interviewing a 101-year-old Oneida tribal member, Tribal Elder Marie Hinton, who attended the Mount Pleasant Indian Boarding School in the late 1920s, along with her brother Amos Christ John. My biggest reaction to this experience was apprehension because I do, did not want to do anything out of the ordinary to jeopardize this interview. I have a thing I do. I do mess up on things. Anyway, um, it also gave me the opportunity to not only to meet Maria, but it also helped create a connection and to eliminate a void to the past that I feel when I am doing research on the school. As a tribal elder, Marie demonstrated a quiet confidence and her words reflected the humility and wisdom she had experienced over the years. Finally, but most importantly, Maria gave me a better insight on my research. In one heartful moment that I will never forget. She took my hand, looked at me straight in the eye, and told me not to hold a grudge. Her message was to move onward and forward. Um, it was a clear indication of a quality of forgiveness that she has dealt with in a powerful way. And with that, I will honor the teachings my elder Maria shared with me, and I will do just that. Um, Shannon, should I go further, or, or are we straight? <laughs> so we're done? Okay, we're good to go then. All right, it was nice talking to you all. See you.